So this video is gonna be a super quick video on a pause and exit function. What do I mean by that? So when you're running your bot, it's gonna be looping, consistently doing the same thing over and over. Well, what happens if you wanted to pause the bot mid action? Well, we're gonna be making a pause function. At the same time, what if you wanted to exit the bot? We're gonna make a function that also allows you to press the escape key on your keyboard and it'll immediately exit the bot. We're gonna be making this not only because it's super useful to have in your bot, but because it'll give you a little bit more practice with functions, which you'll be using a lot in your bots. To start off, we're gonna make two functions. The first function is gonna be called pause, and the second one will be called terminate. Now we need to define a variable and our hotkeys, which will activate these functions. The first variable is gonna be global, and we're gonna call this paused. Now let's set our hotkeys. To do this, we're gonna press enter and type hotkey set, open parentheses, quote, and the button we want to trigger the function. So we're gonna start with the pause one first. So we're simply going to use the button on our keyboard, pause. And we're gonna press a comma, and the function name that we're gonna trigger is our pause function. So let's look at this real quick. We've got this thing, hotkey set, open parentheses, and then a quote, but then we've got a curly bracket. Curly bracket's gonna indicate like an actual button on the keyboard. We're not gonna be sending the letters pause. We're gonna be pressing the button pause. When we're done typing the word pause, we got an end curly bracket, an end quote, comma, followed by the name of our function in quotation marks. We're gonna do the same thing for our terminate function. I'm just gonna press control D to duplicate. And instead of pause, I wanted to do the escape button. And the word will be terminate. And that's it. Let's make our terminate function first. All we're gonna do is put a tab type the word exit and we're done. So our pause function will also be pretty simple. First, we're gonna type paused, our variable name equals not paused. We're doing this to invert the value of the variable. By that I mean, normally when paused is active, it will mean it's not paused, so it will be off. However, if we push the pause button, it will turn paused to off, which means if paused is off, then paused will be on. It's kind of tricky, but we're doing that so we we can reverse the order because the way we're declaring it up here, paused will be turned on by default. Next, we're gonna put this into a simple loop. So we'll say while paused, we're gonna put a tooltip and say the script is currently paused. Press pause button to unpause. I'm gonna be putting this tooltip in the top left corner, so I'm putting comma zero, comma zero. We're going to sleep for 100 milliseconds, and we're going to end this, uh, or sorry, wend. Lastly, we're gonna to wanna to clear this tooltip because when we unpause it, it will say that the script is still paused. So below our when, we're gonna type tooltip again, parentheses, two quotes, close parentheses, and that will clear the tooltip. So we're done making the pause and terminate function. Let's test it out. To do that, we're gonna make a simple while loop. We're just gonna put wend. There's not gonna be anything in it. I'm gonna press F5. The script is running. You guys can't really see anything, but there's no exit code down here. So the script is running. If I press the pause button at the top, you can see the script is currently paused. Press the pause button again to unpause. If I press the escape button, it exited the script. This is an extremely useful thing to have in your code. I have this in every single project I make. It just gives you so much more control over your bot. Anyways, that's the video. Hope you liked it.